Pasta Primavera is going to usher in springtime with fresh veggies like shaved carrots and asparagus and thinly sliced crunchy peas. Oh, it's a pasta to die for. First thing we're gonna do to make this pasta is shave some veggies. Got our orange and our yellow carrots, the purple carrots. We wanna keep these separate. The pigment that makes a purple carrot purple will also bleed out into your pasta and turn the whole dish a little purple colored. So we're gonna keep them separate and add them just at the last minute. The reason I love to shave veggies for this pasta is so that they match the width and size of this gorgeous tagliatelle pasta. All right, we've got all of our veggies peeled. Now it's time to drop the pasta. The first thing you're ever gonna do when you're cooking pasta is boil the water, right? But the one thing you wanna remember to do is not add the salt until the water's already boiling and you're ready to cook the pasta. This will avoid any unnecessary evaporation. And when I say salt, I mean salt. If you're new to cooking pasta, you wanna make sure that your pasta water tastes like seawater. That's how salty you want it to be. It's usually at least a few tablespoons for one pot of water. This is bronze dye extruded pasta. And yes, that's a mouthful, but when pasta's cut with a bronze dye rather than a Teflon one, you end up with this slightly floury, rough texture on the pasta. And not only is this delicious, it's made of durum wheat, but the starch is gonna rub off into the pasta water and make our sauce really silky and thickened. As Soon as your pasta is in the pot, you wanna get a good pair of tongs, give it a stir until it comes back to the boil. Stirring the pasta ensures that it won't stick together and that every noodle is cooked evenly, which is really important. While our pasta's cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and get the sauce started. First up, we've got a couple tablespoons of butter. We also have a couple cloves of finely chopped garlic, and this is just gonna add some depth and punch to our pasta. I'm just gonna cook this until it's soft and fragrant, and then I'm gonna start building my sauce. A Little bit of water to get us going. Oh yeah. Stir in some butter bit by bit to create a base emulsion. And an emulsion is just a fancy word for creamy sauce. Our pasta is ready. It's at a stage we call molto al dente. All it means is that the pasta is only about halfway cooked. So we're gonna pull it out and we're gonna cook it the rest of the way in our sauce. As Soon as you add the pasta to the pan, you wanna start tossing it so it's getting coated in all that garlicky butter. Add a little water. I've got these gorgeous vegetables already shaved and ready to go. And in the time that this sauce comes together and cooks, these veggies are gonna be perfectly cooked. We've got some of these gorgeous sugar snap peas. We're gonna add a bit more pasta water. Now we've got a little more butter and adding the fat, so the skillet is gonna help us to create a creamy and delicious buttery sauce that will coat every single noodle and every single veggie. I think it needs about a quarter cup more pasta water for the sauce to come together nicely. Now the super cool thing about pasta water, it already has a salt in it, so you don't need to add any additional salt to this pasta as it's coming together. The starch and the salt from the pasta water make this dish everything it is. It's really important to turn the heat off before you ever add cheese to a pasta. If you add the cheese while it's still on the heat, the cheese is gonna kinda seize up and ruin your sauce, so always add it off the heat. We're gonna go ahead and add in our pea shoots, Fresh chives and fresh tarragon. A little bit of fresh lemon zest and lemon juice goes next. We've got gorgeous grated parm. And this is just gonna add another layer of umami, richness, and a little bit of salt as well. Look at this delicious pasta. Oh my gosh, it's so creamy and saucy. Oh wow, look at that. I'm gonna finish this off with a few of our purple shaved carrots for color, fresh pea tendrils, which are gonna be gorgeous. And last but not least, a nice shaving of Parmesan. Look at that. This is a really gorgeous, crisp Italian vermentino. It's gonna pair perfectly. Mm. It's like springtime in a bowl. And there you have it, pasta primavera, the ultimate springtime pasta.